Happy Sabbath church. Amen. Happy Sabbath children. Are there any children in here? Happy Sabbath children. Amen. Amen indeed. Our children's story today is entitled The Ideal Companion. The Ideal Companion. And it comes, um, the, the verse of emphasis comes from Genesis 2 verse 18. Genesis 2 verse 18 which reads, And the Lord God said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a helper for him. Amen. So in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. That we know, isn't it? I'm sure we've gone through the creation story in our classes. So he created the heavens and the earth. He created the light. He created the waters. He created the animals. And everything that he created, he looked at it and he saw that it was? Yes, indeed, it was good. But on the sixth day of creation, God made one important creature. Who can tell me? Who did, what did God create or who did God create on the sixth day? Yes? God created man. Yes, God created man on the sixth day. And when God created man, there's something that um, God gave man the power to do. Is there anyone who can tell us? Okay. So, God gave man the power to name the animals and the birds and the fish and so on. Do we know that, children? Do we know that? That the man is the one who named all the different animals, the lions, the elephants, the eagle, the ants, and so on. So God gave um, man the command to go and name the creatures. But he also gave man the command to eat each and every fruit in the Garden of Eden, apart from which, which, which uh, fruit is that? Yes? Yes, so apart from the tree, God gave um, man permission to eat of all the fruits from any tree apart from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. So then after God um, gave man that, he realized that it is not good for man to be alone. And he then decided that he would create a suitable helpmate for man. And then uh, that's when God put man to sleep and removed a, a rib from man. Do you know what a rib is? Can you show me where your rib is, children? Okay, so some of us, with, it's not here, no? <laughs> so your rib is somewhere here. If you hold yourself here, you feel some lines, right? some bones. So this is where your rib is. So God removed the rib after putting man to sleep. He removed a rib from man and created a woman. Obviously, he closed up the flesh. Then he created a woman. And that's why we have a man and a woman. Okay? So a woman came from man. And that was the suitable um, helpmate that God created. So God made man and woman in charge of all the creation to care of and cultivate it for food. He gave them a beautiful garden to live in. It was full of plants and trees. This story basically tells us that um, when God saw that man uh, was not going to be happy to be alone, he created a helpmate. So children, you need to remember that God loves us and he wants us to be with the people that he loves. He wants us to be with the people that we love. And those are the perfect friends that we have, the good families that we have, and even the good parents, the good grandparents that we have. So God always wants us to be with the ideal companion. Amen. <laughs> 